Hi, this is Doug Burks with Security Onion, and in this video, we're going to be looking at Snorby. So Snorby is the first of our four main interfaces that we have available to you as an analyst in Security Onion. So we double-click the Snorby icon on the desktop, and then we open up the Chromium browser, and we're going to be prompted for our email address and password that we specified in setup. We'll enter those and then we'll be able to view the Snorby dashboard. So here's our logon screen. I'll enter my email address and password that I created during setup. And here's our Snorby dashboard. So you can see we have high severity alerts, medium severity alerts, and low severity alerts. We can look down here at the bottom, we can look at severities protocols, signatures, sources, and we can hover over and we can see uh, interesting statistics about sources and destinations. So then the next thing we can do is we can go look at events. So these are the actual network-based IDS alerts that are coming out of either Snort or Suricata. In this case, we're using Snort by default. So we can scroll down and we can look for interesting IDS alerts that we might want to take a look at. So let's take a look at this one. So this is an emerging threats IDS rule for a suspicious .doc.exe and an HTTP URL. So we click on that and that's going to open up. And so we can take a look at all the detail for that particular IDS alert. So we've got source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port. Down here we've got the payload. We can switch it to ASCII view and we can see that Yep, the user did request, did an HTTP GET request for swingmechanics.doc.exe. We could take a look at the rule, the actual IDS rule that generated this alert, and we could verify that yes, it's looking for content.doc.exe. So now if we wanted to say verify that, okay, the user did a GET request for this exe, did they actually download it? That's where our full packet capture comes into play. So we go up to packet capture options, we go down to custom, and then we click fetch packet. That's going to pivot us over to another web interface called CapMe. We're going to enter our squeal username and password and log in. So here you can see the same HTTP GET request that we saw before. But in addition to that, you can actually see the server response. So the client request is highlighted in blue, the server's response is highlighted in red, and you can see the telltale MZ file header of a Windows executable file. And you can see this program cannot be run in DOS mode. Scrolling down, digging into the EXE, you can see a connect string. So that's interesting. Scrolling down a little bit further, you can actually see an IP address. So that's interesting. Maybe when we want to select that and copy it so that we can do some more analysis on it later. So we can, once we're done with our full packet capture for that particular IDS alert, we can just click back and that will take us back into our Snorby web interface. And of course we can drill into any of these IDS alerts. We can do interesting things like search by source IP or destination IP. So that's a brief overview of Snorby.